So just to let you guys know, this is actually part two of a previous video that I did. The part one will be on the card and also in the description if you want to go check those out. But anyway, this is part two of the updating Teen Titans Battlegrounds. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. Hopefully he's, I hope he sees this stream because he really needs to think about like the future of this game because I remember a time like a few years ago where this game had like the average of like 5k active constantly like constantly yeah if, if they had tears we'd done for it yeah but that's the point yeah but like if he didn't allow it to if they if they didn't allow try Trigon and boss characters for it, then the update would allow players to become, like, say I, because I, my favorite character, like, by far is probably Terra, which is also known as Maya. Like, that's one of my favorite characters. One of my favorite, if not my favorite character to play, because it's, one requires quite a bit more skill than other characters, and also, it's just it's just a fun character so if i really like maya then what i can do is i can upgrade maya i can focus on maya so that my my maya like my terra my terra not anyone else's terra my terra is stronger than other people's terras so i know if i'm fighting another terra i have an advantage and if I have more health or more damage, I will have an advantage. But the other character or the other player, I wouldn't know because they might have the advantage over me if they're if they have a bigger advantage or have a higher tier than me, right? Like it would completely change how you think about the game. Like you have to have, you have to actually think, okay, this might be dangerous, they might be a high tier. If they're low tier then it won't matter. I can destroy them if they're a low tier. If they're a high tier, this is going to be a challenge. It will change the way we like play this game. Like it'd be so cool. And if they if he can implement a 1v1 um like arena, like say you do slash uh challenge or challenge I can't spell challenge. Challenge um and then you enter in username there, right? And then it sends you to a 1v1 arena where you choose a specific amount of characters that were selected. Say, like, five characters selected out of any character that was selected, and you have to choose one for each side, and it's different for each side. So, like, one, one would get five characters from any random tier, and then the other one could get five different characters from any tier, except for boss characters. And then you can really, instead of like having a 1v1 system where it's like you go to a certain part of the map and you hope no one gets in your way, you can actually like 1v1 people and get coins from it because it's more competitive, right? That could be cool. Like have a 1v1 system. That could be cool too. Uh, what if we had a weapon that each character had? Um... You see, that's complicated, because some characters already do. To take Robin, he has a bow. Control Freak, which is Power Freak. He has a sword. Like, adding weapons might not do well. Would the tiers also upgrade the weapon? Well, it depends. It, depending on which way he goes, there could be two separate tiers, which one is health and speed and one's on the actual character, and then the other one is the move sets, so it would increase their damage, a, like, area of attack, where it has, a, like, a bigger explosion, or a faster recharge. Like, you could focus either on health, or on, um, your attacks. Like, it, that could really change the game, and how we play it. Because that could, like, really factor into what you do like oh do i want to do this or do i want to like save up do i want to do health first and then do i want to do the power like what would be better in the moment that could really change how you really think about the game and like what you do depending on like each character 
like say for Dr. Light, you might want to first upgrade his health because he has really low health and then you'd upgrade his dam attack damage. Or depending on your play style, you could just upgrade his damage right away and do like an insane amount of damage, but you still have your low health. And now you have to save up for a higher amount of health. It just depends on your play style. And it would change depending on everyone's play style. Anyone watching this, um, send this uh, part of the live stream to uh, Toxicator to see if he would actually like focus on these and help the update, right? Because I hope he does. I hope he up updates the game. They did not add every Teen Titan though. I know they didn't. That's why he um, is adding new ones. That's why he's on, like, an adding new one spree, and I think he was just, like, not updating for a while. Like, on his Twitter, if you go to his Twitter, he hasn't posted since the team, uh, the Trigon update. Like, on his Twitter at all. Yeah, his last post was May 26, 2021. It was two years ago. He hasn't posted since in two years. So he's not, like, telling us about the updates or anything like that. He's just, give, he's giving them out without any of us like like giving him feedback or anything you know like he's not allowing us to give feedback they could get a free skin oh yeah to show their like um like imagine uh after you upgrade everything you get like a golden skin right so to show that you have it like how i said with the white cloak raven yeah like you could have a there's like a special skin so that you know that they're a fully maxed out character if they choose to wear it of course or it would be mandatory so that you know they're a fully maxed out character it would encourage people to finish or save up yes it would but i don't think they would like save up for it i think they just like do it automatically like imagine a golden yeah <laughs> i'm robot likes it imagine um or spend robux on game pass you so smart thanks <laughs> Um, but, like, imagine you get it, right, and then as you go along, um, <clears throat> like, as soon as you max out a character, it could be mandatory, so that everyone knows that you are a maxed out character for that specific character, right? And then after, ooh, wait, imagine after you max out every single character, you get, like, a special character specifically for that. That would be endgame, though, when he ha when he has no more characters to add. But, like, imagine after he adds every single character, right? He adds every character, there's no more characters to add. There could be a special boss character that, after, you, after he adds every character, like, in the game, or in Teen, Titan, in Teen Titans Go, after he adds every single character, and after he, like, does everything he needs to do, and before he adds all the maps... He adds one special character, which is a boss character, that you unlock only after you have unlocked every character and upgraded them to the max. No, I don't think it would cost anything. It's after you upgrade every character to the max, you get every special skin for each character, and you did every single character you have every tier unlocked only after that you would unlock the special character would be probably worth i would say at least six thousand coins like it's worth it wouldn't cost anything but i feel like it could be worth around six thousand or seven thousand coins in worth in value and it could easily take on like a trigon or two like easily I feel like that would be so good for the game. And it would actually, it would make the players who have quit the game and have quit the game and then like have just been sitting on a bunch of coins to come back and like actually have the character. Too OP. But like it would, it's worth it. Like would you rather, but like it, it would actually be worth it because after spending so many tokens, after spending so many tokens and getting all of the upgrades for every single character, which is probably worth around, if I had to guess to upgrade every character, probably around 5,000 tokens at least, to upgrade every single character, 
to the max, then the character you unlock at the end would have to be pretty powerful. Or it could just be a meme character just to show that you are too committed to the game. <laughs> it could also be that, which could be pretty funny, but I think characters would get upset, or players would get upset at that. So I think it would be like a really bossy character, like it would be the boss. And he can make it so that you can only spawn in as it every like 10 minutes. So that it's not too OP. That'd be kind of cool too. Like have a timer on each character. So that people can't spam the same character over and over again. And the first wave, the characters that are on the first wave, like the first five, would have a re like a reduced cooldown of like a minute or two minutes. That'd be kind of cool too. Because it incentivizes you to play different characters. And have multiple characters. Because right now, what are you grinding for exactly? Nothing. You are spending the tokens that you have now when you get a new character, when they unlock a new character, and then that's it. You get the new character, and then you probably just stop playing for a while, right? So if he adds something so that we can spend our tokens while new characters are being developed, then it will keep players in the game and active, and it would incentivize people from buying more tokens and imagine like there's a different crate system where it's like a random upgrade is given to a character you all have already purchased like that'd be kind of cool too like have a skin crate and an upgrade crate where it upgrades a random character in a given wave which could be less because it it's giving random and not um specific ones like imagine a, a, one upgrade on a character to upgrade to like the next tier is like 20 tokens and a crate which gives you a random one is 15 and if you get a duplicate you get like 10 tokens um you get like a 75 percent refund it is a gamble it is a gamble after a while if you actually get something that you want especially skins like it would be a gambling game so i would probably get to like wave four for upgrading characters um no i would say that you would probably get if you have two, like about three thousand I would say you could probably get to um, the first three waves maxed, and then you'd have to save after some in Cinder Block. I also have another idea. So make like a final boss character. It could have a super special skin that could go unobtainable after a few months. Oh, that could actually be cool. Like have a crate system so that there's special skins for certain characters that are limited, like limited skins. Crates and upgrades for free skins. Well, the crates and upgrades wouldn't be free. They would have to... You would have to spend your tokens. You'd have to spend your tokens um, to get the, the crates. But I think the crate system could be cool. Like, you get refunded a certain percentage of everything um, after you get, a like, a repeat item. Like, say I got a Maya skin, and then the next crate I unlock, I also get a Maya skin of the same kind. I would get a 75% refund. Like if the skin cost, if the crate cost me 20, then I would get uh, 10 in return. Uh, so if you upgrade all the characters, you'd also get tokens from that special skin. Like a boost in tokens? Ooh. Like imagine a 10% like a um, token bonus, a multiplier by like 0.5. That could be really cool. Like imagine you get a special skin that's limited and then after it is limited or after it goes off sale, then that limited and depending on how long ago it was, that limited um will give a multiplier. So say the limited was um a month ago and it went off sale a month ago and you it's now unattainable, it has a 0.1 multiplier. Then, the longer it goes on, say it's been a year since that skin has been on, then that skin could give you, like, a point five instead of a point one. You can purchase the skins for Robux. You can purchase the skin for Robux right then. Like, right now, I can purchase this skin for 19 Robux, right? If I get this skin for 19 Robux, then it costs 19 Robux. Or... What you can do is you can get a crate for wave zero because this is wave zero. You can have a crate for wave zero, eight skins, one crate. I think that's like a, tw it's, it's like a 20, like a 16-ish percent chance or something like that, right? A 16-ish percent chance to get the skin that you want in wave one, right? And it could cost like probably 50 tokens, 50 tokens 
or it could cost 20 tokens in wave one in wave zero 25 in wave one 30 in wave two and so on and so forth like it could cost more the farther out you go to p because that's how it works the farther out you go the better characters that there are and it could just like that could be a skin system and all the skins are available for robux robux purchases or you can purchase a crate to get a chance of getting a new skin or a duplicate which you actually lose gem or lose tokens in like you lose a 25 or 50 percent of your tokens that you spent on it if you get a duplicate oh so the skins would have boost to progress but only limited ones yes and it, it would only boost progress after they go limited right only after they go limited so that players have a reason to get those skins and a reason to use those characters with those specific skins it gives players a reason to use different characters and get good with different characters okay so that was all that was really said about any new updates that could potentially and what the actual players want to happen in teen titans battlegrounds i do want to make a note that please 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 do not go and harass toxicator for these updates it never ends well we do i do not want him to get any hate for not adding updates he it is his game it's his game he can do whatever he wants in his game it is his game he doesn't have to do any of this these are just my ideas what some of the players that were in the live stream wanted to see and would want to see in the game all the ideas they liked some of the ideas were theirs i just changed it so that it could work in game but all of these ideas were thought out they were rough ideas and they only have a small chance of working in the game that does not mean that they will come into the game these are just ideas that we want to see in game but please do not harass Toxicator for adding anything please do not spam him saying oh your game sucks you don't have this you don't have this no don't do that just say things that you want to see him add have suggestions be positive because as a creator of anything you never want to see bad input you just don't look at it because if you look at bad input then it will bring down your self-esteem and it won't do well for the game and for him but please do not go and harass him for it these are just ideas hope you enjoyed these two videos these are just ideas that could happen and what players want to see happen in teen titans battlegrounds i hope you enjoyed the two videos please let me know if you guys have any ideas in the comment section below i would love to hear any new ideas and i will see you in the next one